Um, this one's for April 2024. And we're having a look at Arch Villain Games again, who I've been really impressed with them lately. Um, they're starting to do some really cool stuff again. I mean, the, the stuff's always good, but I think there was a period there where I felt their stuff was really overly detailed and hard to paint. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. So this month's fantasy release we're looking at is the Giant Kin Dark Fire. So let's get into it. Um... So there's the group photo of everything. I haven't got the one with all the names on, which is unfortunate, but um, these look from the outset pretty good. There's a couple straight away there, like these monster things. I know that I'm not gonna like, but on the whole, I think there's gonna be a lot of good models in here. Um, and there we go. Uh, the beastery, this thing, the ember glare, not my thing at all. Just, it's just fodder to me. It, I wouldn't paint that, uh, definitely not. But this guy, however, is the complete opposite. This, this is just, this is arch villain at their best. You know, this real characters, a real, a little bit of narrative in the, the whole setup. The pose is really good. I love the helmet, the spikes, uh, carrying this wheel thing is wonderful. And the base is just terrific. Um, so this is top notch. Abs absolutely love this type of thing. Yeah, and this is what they do best. Uh, again, not my sort of thing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I've said it a million times. I'm going to skip on. Uh, this is another one of the Archvillain Society ones, a dwarf fighter. He's pretty cool. I, I, I like the pose. I like his head, the face, the little beads on his head. Um, not so sure about the weapon, though. It looks a bit blocky. You know, just built with primitive sort of thing. There's not much character to that. But overall, it's not bad. And another one from there, Archbishop and Society. This one's much better for me. This one looks, you know, much better sculpted. Much better with, you know, organic features. You know, nice flowing clothing and that. This one I really like. I think this one's very cool. Uh, good model, that one. Um, and another one from the Society, uh, Matricia Fissel. Um, again, this one's pretty cool. I quite like it. Um, it it's not my favourite, but it's okay. It's still a good model. And now we get into the actual release, the Giant King Darkfire. And what a way to start. This, this is me to a T. I love this. I absolutely love it. I, I love... The face, the head, the elongated jaw, the muscles are wonderful. The headpiece is just incredible. And it's got the swirling um, robe thing here. Like, you know, it almost looks like a gin. Um, I'm not sure if that's what an Efreet is, but I think it's similar to a gin. But yeah, lovely. I, I absolutely love that. I love really cool hands on models as well. And this is brilliant. I love this. <coughs> hands on a model really express so much, I think, in, into um, a character and the narrative. You can do so much with hands. And, and this one's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Um, another one of the Dark Fire Fret. Again, this one's really cool. Um, again, yeah, love all this swirling robe tail, tail type thing again a very cool model um can't see the face properly but it looks really good and i like the swords really good uh again love it absolutely love it i love this sort of muscly body again the hands are really cool this sort of it's almost like a skeletal type face with this elongated jaw which i really like and, he, and these sort of Sultan type hats are, are very cool. Yeah, another model I really love. Um, and the fourth one in the set, again, th this one, possibly one of my favorites of the set. This is terrific. Again, just this elongated jaw, great hands, great pose. The posing does so much to a character in the models. And, and this one is brilliant. I absolutely love you, love it. <clears throat> and for anyone that doesn't know, this is the fourth one. What what Archvillain do, they tend to have four or five subsets of characters in um, each release. And they do basically four models with different poses of each type. So that's why you're going to see four of most things. 
um, this is like the main um, display piece or character piece I think of the release it's a bit nondescript really but it's not my thing but it, it's okay um, I'll skip on from that uh, I get these ones the dark fire imps I, I just don't like them they look a bit silly a bit cartoony not my thing yeah like this for instance it, it just these just with the other models in the release that are really cool they're very serious very you know on point these just don't fit to me i don't, I don't like these at all again they're, they're just daft i mean that one it's it's like out of gremlins but uh, some people will like it but just not me i'm afraid um this one however these there's four of these dark fire matron and this one is just beautiful what a great model again you know it's just very cool um there's a little bit of intricacy on here and like I said, if, if you're um, uh, someone who paints and paints everything bit by bit, th this starts to get overly detailed. It's not too bad. But if you're someone who paints with, you know, contrast paints, um, heavy washes and stuff, this stuff looks really good with those sort of paintings. So, uh, but it's a beautiful model, absolutely lovely model. And again, this one, th this one is superb. You know, this is this is a whole diorama and a miniature. Just wonderful how she's lazing on this, I guess you'd call it a fireplace or a plinth of some sort. And she's got this bowl of, you know, either f fire or magical liquid up here, but the mask with the half face, again, that's something I really love. And the pose again, you know, incredibly good miniature. I, I really love it. This one, one of the matrons, I don't love this one so much. I still think it's very good. Um, maybe because of the face being completely covered. I think if this was a half mask like the last one, it would have looked really cool, but probably one of the weaker ones in the set, I think. And again, this one, I really love. Just beautiful. You know, so, so well sculpted and posed. And again, you know, I say this a lot with good miniatures, but this tells a little story. You know, the whole miniature, it's like a little diorama. I'm not so sure about these flamey things, but you could certainly add some different elements in this to make it absolutely incredible. But I love the big hair. The chains are cool. Uh, this little burning uh, fire thing on her head. The mark, it's really good. I, I really love it. Um, now we're on to the Dark Fire Ogres, and the, these are pretty cool. I think this this rough texturing of the stone or whatever it's meant to be is maybe slightly overdone. I would like to have seen this a bit smoother, seeing the muscles and the, the armor a bit better, but it, it's still a good model. I, I love the face, chin, and again, half face is really cool. Um, another one of the Dark Fire Ogres. This, one, this guy's pretty cool. Um, but I, I don't like these as much as the Matrons, I must admit. Uh, the Matrons and the Efrits, the Efrits are just really awesome in this set. Uh, yeah, this one's pretty cool. Um, but like I say, they're a bit, a bit a less, less of a painterly thing for me because these are all about texture. And again, if you're painting with contrast paints or speed paints, these are going to look great. You know, a couple of one or two layers of speed paints or contrast paints and all these details are going to look great. But that's just not the way I paint. Yeah, another one again, exactly the same. I like the mask a bit more on this. This is quite kooky. This sort of. It's more like a quarter mask, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I don't really like the textures and the designs on these ones so much. Uh, these ones, uh, another set in here, the Sentinels, these are very cool. I love this model. Um, I know I, the base is cool, it fits really nice. Hands again, really good. The head, face area, brilliant. Love the scales or whatever you want to call this. Yeah, great model, really love it. And again, same with this one, really like it. Another Sentinel, uh, great model. Um, I love his mace or staff here with the hands all cuddled at the top that's a really good design a little bit sort of 
kingdom death, but I think everybody's borrowing a bit from everyone with designs these days. But again, just, just a great model. Oh, yeah, I love it. Really very cool. This guy's cool. Um, he reminds me of someone. I'm trying to think who it is. Um, but again, a bit more of a static pose, but at least he's got his leg up. But yeah, much better in terms of, you know, muscles, armor. The swords are pretty cool. Um, yeah, he's a very good model. Yeah, I love it. And this one is one of my favorites of the whole pack, I think. Um, it's Dark Fire Sentinel 4. Love the pose. The muscles are great. The helmet's great. The only thing I'm not sure about is this mace bit. It looks, it looks like it's on the wrong way. It looks like this should be the bit uh, attached to the staff, but just a small quirk. I would cut that off and turn it around, I think. It would look pretty cool. Um, but great pose, absolutely great pose. Looks a bit like um, Thor or a God of War or something like that. You know, you could you could certainly change this weapon and make an, an awesome model, but it's very good. I, I like it a lot. And that's the last one in the Arch Villain set, guys, for April 2024. <clears throat> my overall impression of this release is it's it's awesome i i love so many of the mon models in here and there's a good probably a good 10 that i'd want to paint they're really cool there's always going to be what i call those fodder models in these releases um and they're just throw away to me i just wouldn't even bother downloading them um but the character models in here are really good again so this this one again is a big hit and i i like what arch villain games are doing at the moment well, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what your opinion is of these sets and of Archville and Games. I'd love to hear. And I'll see you next time for another Brushmaster video.